The last UML diagram that we are going to cover today is the state diagram, sometimes called state chart diagrams. State or state chart diagrams show the sequences of states an object goes through during its life cycle in response to stimuli, internal or external stimuli, together with the object's responses and actions to those stimuli. The state chart diagram is an abstraction of all possible behaviors. So you have a state chart diagram for each object, in theory. You can create a state chart diagram for each object in your, in your system. It describes different states, all of the possible states that a, an object can go through, or an object or a component in your system can go through. It describes a state machine. A state machine is a machine which defines several states of an object and how these states are controlled by external or internal events. So here we have really two states in the entire life cycle of this object, the billing example. It can be either unpaid or it can be paid. And note there's a start state which delimits the, be the beginning of the state machine, and there's an end state, which is where it ends. Okay, so we have a start state, an invoice is created, the, the billing becomes unpaid, the invoice is paid, then the state of the bill is paid, then the invoice is destroyed. And that's the end of the state chart diagram. Just by way of passing, the state chart diagram, it's one of the five UML diagrams it's a dynamic diagram, models the dynamic nature of a system. State chart diagrams define different states of an object during its lifetime and how these states are changed by events. It's useful to model reactive systems. Reactive systems are a system that responds to external or internal events. It describes the flow of control from one state to another state. States are defined by a condition in which an object exists and it changes when some event is triggered. The most important purpose of a state chart diagram is to model the lifetime of an object from creation to termination. They're also used for forward and reverse engineering of a system, but we won't get into that. The main purpose of state chart diagram is to model the reactive system. Here are some, some other uh, purposes. Model the dynamic aspect of a system. Model the lifetime of a reactive system. To describe different states that an object can be in in its lifetime. To define a state machine to model the states of an object. So what do we have here? We have a start state, which we have uh, arbitrarily assumed to be when the light is red. Let's see, we go from red to green when the car sensor trips. We go from green to yellow when the green timer expires. We go from yellow back to red when the yellow timer expires. So these are events. Car trip sensor, green timer expires, yellow timer expires. These are events that are causing these, these traffic light object to transition from one state to another, that is turn red, yellow, and green. Again, they show the sequence of states an object goes through during its life cycle in response to stimuli, together with its responses and actions. It's an abstraction of all possible behaviors for an object and all possible states that the object can be in. This is the, um, the order object. This is a state chart diagram for the order object. Um, so it's initialized. It's, it's idle. There, um, a transition into send order request, transitions into select normal or special order. Um, this is the transition event from send order to select normal or special. This is, uh, it transitions from then normal to order confirmation by the confirm order event. 
dispatch order, complete transit, and so forth. So it's all the states that an order object can be in from start until final, till it's done. This is the same example we just looked at before. Let me just say a couple more things about it. When, where to use state chart diagrams? You only use them for important objects, objects that have critical states that they go through uh, that are important to understand all of the requirements in the system. You don't arbitrarily create a state chart diagram for each single object in your system. They model the important dynamic objects. 